Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic is Are Angels and Demons Only in Your Head? The reason that I am stating such because there's been some passionate and sometimes divisive dialogue when it comes to this. Are these products figments of your imagination or have these entities existed since primordial times? I think that the decision that I made and the conclusion that I've came to is that it's somewhere in the middle, but because we are victims of miseducation in the West, we think everything from a linear perspective is either good or evil. It's either left or right. It's either black or white. And the more that you evolve as a human being, and especially on your magical journey, you will realize that there's more gray areas than one can ever imagine. And that's even when it comes to the 70 demons of the Goetia or the 72 angel of the Shema Havarash. So with that, it's definitely somewhere in the middle because you have to do your research. And even with your research, you have to ask yourself tough questions. And it's hard when you have to come to a place where you question even what you have believed in for years. People can say that the Bible is a book of fiction, but yet you can find some truths in it. The same for the Noble Quran or the Bhagavad Gita. And there's always elements of truth, even in a myth. Yes, the Bible came long after the Bhagavad Gita, the Per M Haru, or the Egyptian Book of the Dead, and even is based off the Sumerian Onuma Elish. But the point that I am trying to emphasize is that angels and demons have always been here. And they've been here in various cultures across the globe before you got here, your grandparents, and even a lot of your ancestors. They have always been amongst us. Now, here's the thing. You have those energies and aspects within you internally. You have both angelic and demonic fingerprints in your physical body. And that's why both angels and demons can help you evolve on your journey. So if you are wise, and many of you are, it would be good to work with what you're comfortable with. I just happen to work with both. And even when Anton LaVey, and this was in the book by The Church of Satan, which is written by Michael Aquino, even he stated after LaVey allegedly came to the conclusion that these were just all aspects within his mind. But before then, Michael Aquino said he, LaVey himself, has showed him his pact that he had made with Satan. He showed him this. And that's when he was believing that Satan lived. And he did. He does exist. Whether he be Satan or the aspect of King Paimon or Lucifer or even the aspect of Apophis or Set. So the point is, is that it's somewhere in the middle. You have some of them in you, but they exist outside of you as well. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.